Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate a REST API with the delete method. So let's begin. In our previous tutorials, we learned that how we can automate the REST API with the put, patch, post and get method. Now let's see how we can automate the REST API with the delete method. So for that, let me use the same website. So let me copy this URL from here and let me open this one here in the browser. So now we need to scroll down a bit here and here you will see that we have this delete as well. Just click on guide and now scroll down and here deleting resource. So you see that this is pretty much uh, really easy because we are just sending a URL and with that we are just sending a delete. Whereas when we are working on the port patch, so we need to send the headers, we need to send a body okay so this one is pretty much easy so simply uh, let me go here and let me create one new file here and let me name it as rest underscore api underscore delete dot spec dot js okay and the first thing that is that we need to import the playwright test and expect let me copy this one and paste it here now uh, we will be using a test method here and first name the test so i will name it as delete a new oh, this is the name of our test and now it will be followed by a sync and we need to pass a request fixture here okay and once this is done then this is, will be followed by an arrow callback function and now our body is ready here so the first thing is that let's have a complete response so const response is equals to await now using this fixture request dot you see that we have a different methods available so just go with the delete here and now we need to provide a url so let me go back here and let me copy this complete url from here and let me go back here and provide this one so our delete request is ready because we have defined the method we have defined the url okay so this 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 is how it is simple now simply we will go with our assertion so expect so first thing that we gonna assert is that the status code here so status and the status dot to be and let me fail this one intentionally and see what happens now let's run this one and here just run this command and display write test and name of the test so you see that there is a failure and the failure is just because we are expecting 201 and we are getting 200 here okay so simply if i go back here and change this one to 200 and now if i try to run this one so this time it should pass because our expected and actual result is seen okay now uh, if we talk about the body so i'm not sure about the body so for that let me open the postman here and Let's run this in the postman and see if we are getting any kind of a response here. Okay, so go to the new request, go to the delete here, and simply just go to this particular URL. So let me copy this one from here and let me go to the postman here and paste it here and simply send the request so in the body we are not getting anything right now so if you get anything so you can simply assert and if you don't know how to assert the body value simply go and check out my previous tutorials on port patch so you will find out how to assert the different values from the body but if i go to the headers here so we are getting the headers here and let's assert this content type should contain application slash json so simply just go here and First, I need to get the headers from the complete response. So I will call it as response headers is equals to 
response dot so you see that in in this response we have the complete response so response is consists of the body headers and the status quo so different things actually combine itself and they form a response so but from this response i only need the headers so simply i will go with the headers here and now once we have a header so simply expect then response response headers and now here which parameter we need to assert so we are asserting the content dash type and the content type dot to contain and it should contain application slash json so let me intentionally fail this one and see what happens let me save this one and run this one and see what happens so this time this particular test should fail and yes so expected substring so substring is because we are saying that to contain contain means substring and this is a string we received so that's why it got failed so if i go back here and change it to this json one and save this one and now if i run this one here so this type it should pass because now this substring contains this value so that's how actually you can automate and test the rest api using the playwright thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial